Hello, everyone. My name is David Shepardak, and I'm in the office of the CTO of the Cloud Solutions BU within Cisco. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Mantle.io, Cisco's next generation microservices and Docker container platform. First of all, we start out, what is Mantle.io? I'd like to roll back a little bit and talk about the problem. As many of you probably know, there's many opinionated um, platforms on the market today. There's Mesos, Kubernetes, Docker Swarm, even OpenStack has various container initiatives of deploying and operating containers on OpenStack. Which one do you choose? Which one's right for your business and how do you operationalize it? Mantle is a fully open source platform that actually seeks to integrate all of those platforms together to provide you the single operational blueprint and pane of glass that you can then manage your microservices and next generation um, Docker containers. You actually don't need to make a choice because we have a team of engineers and a community built around Mantle where you can have a say in what technologies that we integrate and how we evolve this over time. Our goal is to really bring all these technologies together so you get a full unified stack. Now, just having a unified stack of Mesos, Kubernetes, and Docker Swarm and various other platforms together doesn't really solve the problem. These technologies by themselves are fairly basic. They're fairly bare bones. They're fairly complex to manage and deploy. So what we have done is we have, in addition to just integrating the platform together, we've also built a variety of services, such as service discovery, NFE, load balancing, um, policy, governance, security. And we've using open source technologies, such as Vault or um, load balancing technologies like Nginx, integrating them in a unified way into the platform. So not only do you get a unified stack of technologies, but you actually get everything you need to manage, operate, and deploy your next generation microservices and Docker containers, all open source. Finally, we also want to make it easy. Of course, deploying many different kinds of technology stacks is difficult. Kubernetes is difficult if you've ever done that before, or even Mesos. How do you make it HA? How do you make your cluster HA? How do you make your applications HA? How do you provide the right operation analytics and metrics for both your platform and your services. So what we've done is we've, we've made a, an extensive amount of different kinds of automation tools and technologies. So it's really a push button deploy. Through a single script called deploy.sh, you can stand up a 100 node cluster, begin deploying your, your Docker containers immediately, and manage and monitor them. So here's kind of a high level overview, uh, introduction to kind of the various stacks of what Mantle is and various slices of, of the platform. At the very top, you have your applications and services, your Mesos schedulers, right? You also have your various service discovery elements or your um, secrets with Vault, for example. Then you move down a layer, and then you have your more platform and infrastructure layers, such as, well, I need my monitoring analytics. I need my logging for my applications. I'm running a Docker container. How do I know my Docker container is healthy and available and um, you know, behaving as intended? Finally, we move down one more level. We have cluster management and scheduling. Right? We have my multi-node on the cloud, on OpenStack, on AWS. I need to know liveness and availability of that cluster. And that's all integrated with a single push-button deploy. You deploy it, you run it, and you get all this stuff fully integrated. You also have this notion of, well, now that I have this great cluster, fully open source that I can um, manage and deploy, well, I have VMware, I have AWS, I have OpenStack, and I have various versions of OpenStack. How do I deploy Mantle on my flavor of OpenStack, for example? Well, we're using various open source technologies like Terraform or Ansible or and even a little bit of Puppet if you need that, so that with a single click, you can deploy to any cloud. And if we don't have that cloud, you can help us build a Terraform file and we'll deploy to that cloud. And so get involved and help us build this to support your particular environment. So there's different kinds of personas in our businesses today, right? We have our developers, we have our operations, we even have kind of our business IT assets, and we have you know, even marketing and billing. We're trying to figure out how much cloud resources you're, you're utilizing. How does Mantle target each of these different personas? Well, you know, what we're really trying to move is we're moving from a mode one to a mode two, or from a, um, to a more cloud native approach. Right? And if we move to cloud native, we have things like, well, I have a DevOps pipeline I need to integrate with. You know, I, I have uh, next generation services I'm trying to build that integrate with my legacy services. How do I tie those two things together? And then, of course, I have multiple flavors, multiple languages, multiple different apps. C, Java, Go, Python. How does that all fit into this cloud native strategy? I also have this idea that, well, I need 
analytics and monitoring. Different personas need different kind of data. For example, operations need to know how much, when, where, what's my quota, how much do I bill on. Um, I, DevOps needs to understand, well, is it available? Is it operating correctly? Is, is, am I satisfying my operational goals for availability? Security needs to monitor, well, am I being DDoS? Is there a malware attacking my system? And then the developer just needs to know, is it working? Is my app that I built is operating as intended? That's all integrated into the platform. Then you also have this notion of IT organizations. We have VMware. We have this traditional IT approach of how we enforce policy, access control, availability, compliance. These are big things that you know, I have to do with day to day. How does that transform into a cloud native strategy? How, how do I transform my network policies from my tr traditional clause or, or switch fabric into a container networking world? Um, more importantly, how, how, do I, how do I transform my access control and compliance into a cloud native world? And so these are kind of the personas that we're trying to target and make sure that we capture from a use case and implementation standpoint. Finally, um, and we also have this need for developers to say, well, I need an easy way to go and rapidly develop my tools and technologies to the cloud. And we don't want any of these other different personas to really interfere with velocity, right? So we, we, we need to provide different views on the same platform and the same technology, but without disrupting speed, innovation, and our ability to deliver. So how does Mantle translate to maybe some incremental business value? Well, now you can, with a single push button deploy, you can build cloud native, right? We, you can begin embracing disruption-based uh, technologies like Docker containers and things like that. And we also can embrace hybrid DevOps, my traditional DevOps approach with Ansible and even some Docker container-based approaches. And we've also done extensive amount of work coming from a network-centric company around Docker container networking. And we have lots of partnerships in this space, too, to provide tenancy, isolation, policy-driven um, approaches for how we link Docker containers to policy. That's all built in. And in fact, these projects are also open source. Um, and I think what it ultimately culminates to is as a business, I need to think about not just my OpenStack story, my cloud story, but also my next generation cloud native story, and how those two different kinds of um, worlds come together in a unified way. And so, and that's kind of the goal and vision that we're, we're trying to achieve. So diving a little deeper, here's a brief high level overview of some of the technologies based on logos that play within Mantle, and it's by no means comprehensive. So um, working from top to bottom, we have services. We have Nginx, we have full Elk stack, Hadoop, Spark for machine learning, Kafka for the message busting and alerting. Uh, and this is by no means comprehensive, right? It's just we can manage deploy. We have plenty of frameworks that run here. Uh, in platform, we have Mesos, Docker, Apache Zookeeper for consistency and service discovery and data storage. We also have Marathon and Console for service discovery. And this is by no means comprehensive. So you can pick the flavor, um, for example, uh, Kubernetes uses etcd, and Mesos uses console and a few other tools and technologies. How do those two fit together? We've already done the integration work. So in fact, there already are integrated in a unified technology stack, and you don't have to make that choice. The choice is already made for you. You pick the technology that works for you. Finally, we move down one level. We're using a combination of Ansible and Terraform to really automate and provision both cloud infrastructure resources and bare metal. Right? You just use a Terraform file, we build a provider, we have lots of open source um, deployment providers, um, and you can help us build them, and for your particular target environment. And that's kind of really across UCS hardware or bare metal or other bare metal flavors, including OpenStack, AWS, Google Cloud, etc. We're also working upstream um, on various integration efforts. For example, Kubernetes is one of our biggest efforts we're working on right now, and we have lots of cross collaboration between our teams of integrating Kubernetes and all the paradigms and principles of Kubernetes into Mantle as well. So now when you deploy Mantle, you get both Mesos and Kubernetes. It's no longer the choice of which one do I choose, you get both. And some services run better with hardware affinity, and others just run better at hyperscale web apps. I have both, therefore having both integrated in the platform is valuable and useful. We also have another open source project, which you've probably heard about before, and if not, it's Contiv. Contiv seeks to integrate policy and governance to container networking. They're integrated into to Mesos, they're integrated into Docker, and they're integrated into Kubernetes and many other platforms. And basically what, what Contiv provides is a single unified control plane for enforcing policy across all my Docker containers, no matter where they run. So that's a very powerful tool for transforming IT policy and security into my next-gen cloud-native strategy. We also have a very big collaboration with Metaswitch, particularly around the, uh, the Calico project. 
And so we're, we're trying to, we're integrating Calico in with uh, Mantle so that you get full tenancy and isolation for when running different workloads for compliance or multi-tenancy in your applications that run on the platform. All of these are open source, and if you, some of these are interesting to you, happy to reach out and contact us, and we'll, we'll get you involved. So what does a cluster look like? This is by no means a complete cluster, but basically you have three flavors of nodes, controller, worker, and edge. Controller is where all the heavy lifting services run, and such as you know, machine learning or business data or scheduling or orchestration. The worker nodes is where all your workloads run, whether it be Kubernetes or, 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 or Mesos workloads or Docker containers. And we have our edge nodes, which is more like our security gateways that provide basic load balancing and policy enforcement at the edge. I should not overshadow the fact that we also have policy integrated into the platform itself, not just at the peripheral. And so you can deploy the cluster, auto-scale it up within a single data center, or you can also deploy it across data centers, either across multi-cloud or hybrid cloud. And so we have both service discovery across a hybrid cloud environment. So you deploy an app to private and public cloud. We can stitch those containers together. But we also have the ability to stitch them across public clouds as well, right, in a multi-cloud approach. And we're continually innovating and doing work here, all open source. So happy to get your engagement in, in, if any of this is interesting. So um, how do you get involved? Well, there's different ways that you can get involved in the project. You can explore at mantle.io. You can learn. We have a comprehensive documentation set that's continually evolving with ad additional uh, kinds of uh, external support for plugins and automation, et cetera. You can discuss with us. We have a Gitter room. We have Cisco Spark. We have many means to, means to communicate, but this is an open room with the, with the community is. Reach out, ask questions, figure out how to get started, and we'll point you in the right direction. And you can also contribute. As it's fully open source, we're, we're happy to get pull requests, or we have lots of collaboration in the industry, um, deploying Mantle fully open source, in fact, in, in, in production. So um, if there's a, you have a particular requirement, we're happy to, to work with you to try to get that into the platform. If anyone has any questions, I am happy to, to answer them now. And uh, it's an exciting conference. Sure. Um, so how we think about it is we want to deploy Mantle to a cloud or multi-cloud. And then upon that stack, when you deploy the automation, there is basically Mantle Core, which is a set of core automation which gives you Mesos and Kubernetes. And then there's some additional services that are deployed both as frameworks on top of Mantle and also onto the bare metal hosts or, or the VM hosts that do like monitoring and analytics. Based on the automation and configuration of your variables that you want to really tweak it, you can tweak it. So it's a full security stack. You can control your passwords and secrets. There's a full kind of plug-in stack where you can pick the playbooks and automation you want, and all that's customizable. Does that answer your question? And if not, we, we can circle back offline, and I can go into more, more detail to help you with that. Anything else top of mind? So what are some of the main um, differences between someone like Magnum and Mantle? Good question. So. Um, I believe that there are a lot of synergies between the two efforts, and I don't believe they're overshadowing each other in any means. Um, Magnum is one way that we deploy containers in OpenStack, um, but not a way, maybe, maybe a way in the future that we can deploy containers on AWS. But Mantle gives you that multi-cloud story. If you have a cloud bursting scenario, say I, wanted to, I have an OpenStack private cloud and I have an AWS public cloud, which my developers are already using, through integration efforts, which we are working on, I want to deploy with Magnum containers to OpenStack, and I want to use a Terraform provider and Kubernetes and AWS. That is kind of the goal and vision of how those two integrate. If, if Magnum eventually focuses on other clouds, we can just leverage that. Mantle is like the glue and the framework which we integrate services together. Um, you could use Kubernetes or Magnum or Mesos, just like any, each of them. You pick your flavor, and we don't want people to have to choose which flavor they want to choose. Or, I mean to have to lock in, right? It's all about choice and the ability to, you get all the bells and whistles and services no matter which platform it is, whether it's, um, you know, one minute, okay, or Mesos or Kubernetes, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
So um, I, that's a big question for one minute, but I'm happy to take that offline. And that's a part of our, our effort to try to figure out multi-container, multi-data center networks. Yep. I think I have 30 seconds left or, or so. All right, well, um, if there's no more questions, happy to find me outside, happy to talk more, and thank you very much.